Hey everybody, I'm Frank from Salesforce & Associates, your Florida-based AVL rep firm. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about the Midas HD96. So what does it have? 144 simultaneous inputs, 123 phase coherent time-aligned outputs, 24 VCAs, 24 pop groups, 12 mute groups, and 12 shot groups, and that's just the start. So come along and let's check it out. So why does a Midas Pro sound the way it does? Well, award-winning Midas preamps that are sought after by the industry for years is one reason, and another reason is the delay compensation system. Midas actually has a system in there that allows you to pick from preferences to determine how you want to use the console, and then it makes all the decisions to make sure that all your outputs are phase coherent. So 144 channels, how do you navigate that? Well, there's a couple things that Midas does to make that real easy. One is the touch screen. On the touch screen, you can go from channel one to any channel you want almost instantly. If you wanted to go to output buses, you could go there just as quick. So here's from the very last output bus to the very first one to the very first input. That's one way to do it. Another thing that Midas gives you is Pops. Pops is a tool like a VCA, but without control. So what it allows you to do is, here's a pop for all my groups, and you can see all the groups appear on the desk. I'm only bringing up what I need. Yes, yeah, so we talked about the pop groups who are obviously very powerful to bring an entire collection of different faders, outputs, VCAs, anything to you instantly, but we also have VCA groups. So that's gonna be a little more powerful than a pop group because yes, you can spill the channels, but you can also control the overall volume of them. So let's check that out. So here's a VCA section of the console, and you can see right over here, if I dump down on the background vocals, all I have to do is select it, and the console will bring me all the contributions. So here, it's, it's like a pop group, but it's a pop group that you can control the volume of the totality of the contributions. So let's talk about the candy. Come and look at the effects rack. 24 effects rack spaces. Each rack space can hold one thing that might have multiple instances, or if it's a bigger DSP chunk, then it's gonna take up to three rack spaces for that one device. This reverb is the only thing in the system that takes three rack spaces. Everything else only takes one rack space, and it might have one instance, like this voice doubler, but then you can see right here, this chorusor has two instances, which means there's two complete chorusers that I can adjust and, and insert anywhere I want, or, or send return anywhere I want. When you get over to the compressors, you get four instances of them. And for those of you that are wondering if we have a Dugan auto mixer, well, it is an auto mixer, but we're not allowed to call it Dugan. Um, it is very, very versatile, as you can see. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them available to you in only one rack space. Besides all these effects that you have in the 24 primary effects rack, you have a secondary dynamics pool. That dynamics pool gives you 128 dynamic equalizers and an additional 30 multiband compressors. So let's take a look at virtual sound check. We'll start by putting a card or two into the card slots in the back of the console and then telling the console what card slots those are. Although the console is a 96K console, you can run the cards at 48K to give you a higher channel count for both recording and playing back in your virtual sound check. Once you have the cards set up, what you would do is you would just lay them all onto your tape returns, all the channels onto your tape returns, and then there's a little button right here that says virtual sound check. This button, of course, could be in the main part of the console if you don't feel like touching the screen. Once you flip that, all the channels will flip from your input I.O. to the tape returns, now playing off your computer. Now let's say your bass player wants to play along with the virtual sound check. No problem, you just go to his channel and there's a little feature that allows you to not have him flip over to the tape return side. That feature is also used anywhere you would do effects returns because you'll want those still to be active and managed during virtual sound check. Midas has given us this great tool called Mancino that allows us to manipulate large channel counts and large bus outputs and get a lot of things done that would otherwise be somewhat stressful. So one thing you can do with Mancino is you can ask it things that are on or off. So right here you can see a whole bunch of input channels and I'm gonna to touch this button here and it's telling me this is where compressors are on in my system. If I went to my equalizer section, I can do the same thing. Where is equalizers on? Oh, there's a lot of equalizers on. I can go to my gates and do the same thing. So it's a way of querying the system. That's one of the features Mancino has. The other feature allows you to take a whole bunch of channels 
you can take tons of them. And let's say I want to add some EQ to all of them. You can see it's collected all of them. And here's my high pass filter. And I can just dial up and you can see that they're all moving simultaneously. Mancino, very, very popular and very powerful feature. And they're going to be adding a lot of feature sets to it in the coming revs. So I hope you'll agree this little desk has a lot to offer, a huge feature set regardless of size. If you are interested in checking out this desk in person, if you'd like a personal demo, call your Salesforce rep right now and we'll make an arrangement to come and see you at the desk.